Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask order this side. So the question for the day is maximum sum of R glass. And without wasting any time, let us move to the understanding area. Okay. So the question defines that, that an R glass shape is actually this. That is elements such as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So the question says that you have been given a matrix. Suppose your matrix is four by four matrix, right? The, the NLM can be different also. It is not necessarily a square matrix. I am taking 4 by 4 just for a random thought, right? Okay, so the matrix look, will look something like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, right? Okay, now the question says that you have to pick out all the R glass of the matrix, right? Now, what is an R glass? I need any matrix representing this type of thing. So, in this question, an R glass can be A, B, C, F, I, J, K. These elements are forming one of the R glass, right? Another R glass can be formed by B, C, that is this bar glass, right? This I form, this R glass form. An R glass is an object that is used to measure time. You might have noticed there's something like this, right? A sand is filled up, right? Sand is dripping down here, here. That is an R glass, right? Another can be this one, right? So these, another can be FGH1, one, right? Right? So many, many elements are possible, right? Many of the R glasses are possible. It is said that if in an, any matrix, if an R glass is not possible, if an R glass is cannot be formed, in that case, return your answer as minus 1. Now, let us try to solve this problem, right? First of all, let us see when an R glass is not possible. When an R glass is not possible. Is not possible. So, we know an R glass looks something like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? An R glass requires 1, Two, three rows and one, two, three columns. So the minimal and the only requirement for an R glass is three rows, three columns. If the given matrix to us has less than three rows or less than three columns, I will say return minus one straight away. I will say return minus one. This is my base condition, right? Okay. Now moving forward, how can we take the maximum sum? So that is very, very easy. That is very easy. For the given matrix, that is A, B, C, D, up till and these are other four, these are other four elements, these are other four elements. These are, now, this is a four by four matrix, right? If I'm able to find an R glass with the code here, I can find the elim uh, any element with the code, right? What can I do? I will count the starting points of R glass. I will see from the starting points of R glass. Starting points of R glass. Now, what do I am referring to starting points? I am referring in this figure, I am referring A as my starting point, right? I'm, I'm, I want to take all the A's because if I want, if I get an A, I can easily find an R glass. I can easily find the subsequent elements of the R glass, right? If I got A. Why? Because if suppose I, A is at I, J, B is definitely at I, J plus 1, C is definitely at I, J plus 2, D is definitely at I plus 1, J plus 1, E is at I plus 2, J, I plus 2, J plus 1, i plus 2 j plus 2 right i don't think that this requires any explanation because look it as a matrix only right because we are moving right we are increasing the column if we are moving downwards we are increasing the row number only that if i get i comma j i can easily get all the other values right that is my approach that is my approach okay i will use just use a loop that is for i going from zero it will start my traversal from zero now where it will go at last where it can go at last is it possible to form an R glass by keeping A, that is capital A, A here? If I put a capital A here, if I want three elements in this row, you can see this is an empty element, this is not possible, right? So for N, this is N minus 1, this is N minus 2. What is the last R glass? Last R glass can be formed from B. So my I will actually go up till N minus 3. So I will go from 0 to N minus 3. That is, I can say N minus 2, that is less than N minus 2, right? Okay, similarly for J. Similarly for J, if I keep my A here, is it possible for me to take the last row? No, all the three are empty, right? So my A is also going up till here. That is, this is M minus 1, this is M minus 2, 
this is m minus 3 so my j is also going from 0 up till m minus 3 that is less than m minus 2 right okay now I've got my a I have got my a my a is at i comma j now the answer is very simple I will take another answer that answer is equals to minus 1 currently right now my answer will be updated as maximum of existing answer with the sum of the elements sum of which elements that is matrix of i comma j which is my a my b was i plus 1 j that is i j plus 1 now c is i j plus 2 d is i plus 1 j plus 1 all the next three elements are i plus 2 j i plus 2 j plus 1 i plus 2 j plus 2 right and this will be my answer after the ending of both the loops i will have my answer as a maximum and this was a relatively easy there is no other case that you can like there can be the case but this i, do, I don't think that this will, uh, any case will be of better complexity right because you are just traversing the matrix so o of n into m time complexity o of one space complexity that's it and this is an easiest approach of the problem i don't know why this question is given in a medium category right okay let us try to solve it now let us try to code it down so here is the coding area i did not write it on my right i did not write it live because the coding was actually just the laborious work here so the case is very pretty that n is less than 3 or m is less than 3 then minus 1 that is what that was a base case right okay now answer equals to minus 1 initialization i, I will go from 0 to n minus 3 actually uh, it is using less than n minus 2 that is i will go till n minus 3 similarly for j it will go till m minus m minus 3 my a is now at present at i comma j right so i plus i comma j i comma j plus 1 i comma j plus 2 i plus i comma i plus 1 comma j plus 1 and forward i plus 2 j i plus 2 j plus 1 and i plus 2 j plus 2 that is correct right we are taking the all the elements sum of our class and answer equals to max of answer comma sum and at last return your answer that should be fine let us try to compile and run it and in the meantime i would request you to subscribe to my channel let us try to submit as well and hit the like button guys and please 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 follow me on my social media handles and just you can see the 132 day streak so we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy till then keep watching and stay tuned have a nice day